Hi, so just a little update before um, the main thing. Um, I'm still recovering from the COVID. Uh, about 13 days, 12 or 13 days into symptoms. Starting to feel a lot better. Still not quite well enough to properly get out of bed, so I'm going to be phoning this one in, if that's okay. But I, um, I just wanted to reassure you, and also to reassure anyone that's going through this or received a diagnosis, that uh, the milder form of COVID that this is, is um, it's, it's, it's quite endurable. Um, uh, and just be prepared to be staying in bed for quite a while, that's, that's all. And I'm beginning to feel much better. And um, <clears throat> my best wishes to everyone who's uh, been through or is going through the same thing. Anyway. So what's going on in the world today? We had a storming of the Capitol building. A woman died from police gunfire. I hear there are three others that have lost their lives, but that's not confirmed as far as I can tell at this time. Lots of others have been injured during an attempt by Trumpians to disrupt the formal election count. Now, given the American penchant for rugged individualism, I thought we might have seen from the Americans more of a sneaking admiration for this adventure, but no. It turns out that this entirely predictable event took them very much by surprise and they don't like it at all. They don't like it not one bit. You could have knocked me down with a kipper when I saw none other than Mike Pence, Mike fucking Pence, publicly denouncing this manifestation of Trumpism and separating himself from his idol via the conspicuous absence of mention. We've all been hoping for some healing across political divides in America, and as a consequence of this attempted insurrection, we might have actually got some, at least among American politicians. It seems like they're having a bit of a wake-up call. People on both sides of the aisle are coming out in solidarity to defend the American political process, which was born out of revolution and bloodshed, but never mind that. The thing that they'll all be reeling from now the thing that will be uniting Congress in a way that we haven't seen for ages is not the attack on democratic values, no matter how much they may want to lead with that as their argument. No, the thing that's got them spooked is the attack on the political class. The shocking possibility that, with enough zeal, determination and of course the requisite level of derangement, a mob or militia could conceivably just come along and fuck their shit up. We're going to see ripples from this way into the future. So what might they look like? Well, I think we might see in American politics an all-round resurgence of skepticism when it comes to any kind of extremism or demagoguery, on the left or the right, and I think that would be a good thing. It should be clear by now that when you cultivate political enmity in the mindless way that we've been doing so far in the 21st century, that the outcome will not be a desirable one. As for the maggers, I don't think anyone is going to be able to persuade them that their actions are anything less than those of proud rebels in the finest American tradition. And if they are prosecuted with zeal after the swearing in of Biden, then they're only going to double down on that, pass the songs down to their children, so to speak, and we can expect murals commemorating the storming of the Capitol to appear and then someone else tries to have it banned and then you get the whole shit cycle again which might be prevented if the Democrats took a position of, say, informal amnesty in this case. By that, I mean they just let the story die, without the glamour of emotive coverage. But I don't think that will happen. For politicians, this is too personal. They'll be worried about what precedent it might set if they are seen to give any quarter to armed insurgents. So from this moment, I think it's possible that we're looking at a new environment in Congress that hopefully favors cooler heads because it no longer takes institutions for granted. Elsewhere, though, I'm afraid to say, out there in the places where insurrection foments, I think the trouble has only just begun.